Hi, meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 YouTube tropical update. Every day we're here at least once a day checking in on the tropics, able to sort of dive in. So glad you found us on YouTube. As always, you've heard this before. If you want to subscribe to the channel to make sure you check in. There's a lot of other great things here, a lot of great content on the Fox 26 YouTube channel, but this is the one where we're talking about tropical. If there's something happening, we we'll might spend some more time here, but on a quieter day, uh, we're here though at least once a day. And there is something the Hurricane Center is certainly keeping its eye on at the moment. Very quiet here across the Gulf of Mexico. If you're in Southeast Texas, where we are here at Fox 26, you know about that high pressure ridge causing all the excessive heat warnings and heat advisories. Well, it's also protecting us from the Gulf of Mexico. Everything's very quiet in the Gulf of Mexico, but further out way in the Atlantic, there is a development of a system that looks like this is going to turn into a tropical cyclone. Now that could be just a depression where it gets a number or it could continue to strengthen into a tropical storm and get a name. I think at this point it does look like it probably will get a name before it's all over with, but it might need a couple more days to do so. Officially, the Hurricane Center is giving the next two days a 50% chance. And but over the next seven days, it looks like a 70% chance that this would develop into a tropical cyclone. This is a much more favorable area for development than where it is right now. We'll talk a little bit more about that uh, at the moment on why we're looking at that. And it starts with sea surface temperatures. That warm water is kind of the fuel that really brings these storms to life, gives them the energy that they need to really get organized and get bigger and stronger. And these are very warm temperatures. These temperatures right here are typically what we would see at the end of August and moving into September. So they're like a couple months early as far as how warm they are. And we would expect that they're going to stay at least this warm, if not even increase more to where when we get to the more active times of the year, it could be even more of a situation that we want to be concerned with a little bit. So switching back and showing this area for development and what we're looking at from the National Hurricane Center. The thing to note, though, is that especially here in the Gulf of Mexico, but even most of the continental US, there's not much of a concern that this would impact us because if it was a weaker storm, uh, it would sort of get a chance to sort of get pushed down uh, to the far south and end up in the southern portions of the Caribbean. If it's a much stronger storm, it might be able to sort of pull itself up to the north a little bit and it would want to again curve back around. It wouldn't be able to sort of fight against against this high pressure. I always like to say that tropical cyclones, they always follow the path of least resistance. They're not going to try to plow through the middle of a high pressure system. They're going to kind of go around them. That's just kind of the way the nature is, how they work. So not something that we're really concerned with making a big impact on the US and certainly not into the Gulf of Mexico. What is unusual is where this storm is forming. Typically in June, when we look at the history books on where we see tropical cyclone activity, it is not out in the Atlantic like what we're seeing. Normally we see things forming much more closer into the Gulf over on the western corner or down in the western portions of the Caribbean is another spot that June normally has activity. And then even over into the Bahamas a little bit is where we see it. So that high pressure ridge that's giving Houston some unusually warm temperatures, it's not usually there because it's usually allowing for the potential at least for some development in June. So all of this kind of working together on these bigger global patterns that are happening now over in the Atlantic where that system is forming. Certainly that's a very common place for tropical cyclones to form, but not in June. Normally it's in August and September when that's happening. Thanks so much for finding us here on the Fox 26 YouTube channel. If you want to look me up on social media, that would be great. I'm at John Dawson. Fox 26, give us a chance to connect a little bit. You can share some thoughts with me. I'm always interested in hearing where you're viewing from Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Look me up. It would be great to connect. And of course, we'll be back here tomorrow with another update on the tropics.